right, what is up, Fishaholics? I'm working my way down to the water, and I'm gonna be fishing up front under the lighthouse today. And all day long, it's been blowing north, northeast, you know, say 15 to 20 miles an hour. And it's still blowing north, northeast, but the wind has died down a little bit, you know, slightly. It's probably blowing 10 to 15 right now. And I've got the first, you know, hour, two, two and a half hours of the incoming tide up front under the lighthouse which are superb conditions to go up and try and catch some fish right under the light. Incoming tide and a north northeast wind. Hopefully the water's clean also. If the water's clean, I guarantee you I'm gonna get into some stripers today. Let's see what happens. I'm gonna start off throwing this two ounce white bucktail with a white Uncle Josh sea rind and uh, hopefully that'll get the job done. Good fish guys, just hooked into a really good fish. Feels like a good bass. Feels like a really big bass. I knew there'd be a big fish here, guys. I knew it. I knew there'd be a big one. Really big fish. Oh, Jesus. Oh, it may be, oh, it might be a blue fish. It might be a big chopper that I hooked in the back or something. Or, never mind, it's just a big chopper. I thought I hooked him in the back. Man, this fish pulled hard. I thought it was gonna be a big bass. Big chopper blue. I'm gonna have to go down to get this fish. Good thing I have my new corkers. wouldn't mind if he kind of actually just fell off. <laughs> then I wouldn't have to go down and get him. Woo! All right, here's my window of opportunity. And he broke the line. Real big bluefish. I'm gonna try and go down and get him. Real big chopper blue. Now time to retreat <laughs> back up top. Ugh. Got my got my jig back at least. You know that's an expensive two ounce jig right there. <laughs> and I got my Uncle Josh pork rind. Real fat. This is probably around a 10, 12, 12 pound bluefish. There's another bite, another fish, another big, no, oh, I don't know what that is. That might be a bass. It's either a bass or a big blue. I think I just had a school of bunker swim in front of me. I think this might be a bass. First cast after that big blue fish. I hook this fish here. This might be a striper. Looks like a striper. He jumped out of the water, which is really, really weird. Whoa! Rip and drag. Nice bass. He's making me chase him, though. He's really making me chase him. 
might be around uh, 36 inches or so. I'm not going to do what I did with the bluefish and try and lift this fish up. I'm going to have to go down and get him. All right, guys, this is the moment right here. I'm going to go down and get him. All right. All right, guys, I got him. Got him. Ugh. Woo! Nice big striped bass right there, guys. Woohoo! Alright. Let's get this fish in the water. Whoa! He took off right away. Wow, that fish took off really fast. As soon as I put that bass in the water, he swam off. And there he goes. There he goes, he just swam through the wave. All right, Fishaholics, I'm gonna call it for the evening on filming, and I hope you guys enjoyed this short little video. And if you have any questions, just post a comment in the comment section below, or look in the description below for any more information about tackle and equipment, and the conditions that I had today to catch some fish. And uh, today, I think a lot of the bass that were around were definitely concentrated on these small little pods of bunker, because that one bass that I did catch I casted my bucktail over a small little pot of bunker that I spotted and I really wasn't sure if it was bunker because there wasn't really any fish busting up on the bunker. But then after I saw a massive school of bunker here in Turtle Cove and I saw stripers going crazy on it and, and as well as big bluefish, I had a feeling that a lot of the striped bass that are in this area right now are being blown in with the bunker because of this northeast wind here in the beginning of July and because of, of this incoming tide that I have. And, uh, you know, I had great conditions, and that's why there were fish here. And, uh, you know, I kind of just got lucky with the whole scenario. And uh, I'm going to probably keep fishing into dark, but like I said, I'm going to call it on the filming. But again, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and never forget, live to fish, fish to live. I'll see you guys out in the water.